Hey guys, Zix here. Time for the next weekly analysis video. I apologize that it's been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, you may think it was because maybe I thought my predictions were wrong and I didn't want to face the music. The reality is I had some personal stuff going on that kept me from doing it, but I'm back, baby. I'm back. So we're back to it and we're going to do it right now. Um, if you watched my market structure video, you'll understand what all this stuff is. If you didn't, shame on you. Go watch it. Linked in the description below, along with our Discord server um, and our other social media crap as well. Um, all good stuff there. Hope to see you guys uh, engaging other than just on YouTube. So what is going on with Bitcoin? Oh my goodness! Let's go to the daily, huh? Also, if my voice is a little scratchy, uh, this shouldn't be showing up here. Get out of here. Uh-huh. Get out of here. Uh, well, sorry, my voice is a little scratchy. Uh, I've had uh, a little cold or something. I tested negative for the, you know, virus of unknown origins, unspecified virus of unknown origins. Um, but, uh, I got, I caught something. I caught something. So where were we last week? Uh, last time I was on, I don't know, it was around here or something like that. Um, I said we would have a green week and then we would have a red week. Well, that ended up happening. Um, let's go here. Yeah, this was the green week that I was referring to. This was the red week that I was referring to. We did go ahead and we chotched on the weekly, which I said to everybody, we're fucked if it happens. So guess what? We're fucked. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be bad, my friends. It's going to be, it's going to be a bad summer. Um, the good news is we still have this daily high up here. Um, we are in a daily pullback, finally. Uh, that is confirmed with this move right here. Uh, so we could see a pullback up into this general area before we continue back down. Um, we have a four hour to beat, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, but I feel pretty good that this is coming. It may not be today. Um, and, you know, if we immediately dump back down here, this high gets moved down to about right here. Uh, so that that would neck, that would then be our recovery. I'm really strongly hoping that we get a recovery pullback into the 32 area. But like I said, if we do this kind of thing and come back down and we break this level here, which is our current daily week low. There you go. This is now our current daily week low. Once we break this, this level is no longer uh, valid. Uh, not that we can't get there, uh, but it's not super uh, likely that we do anytime uh, soon. So this, we're in a daily pullback. I'm hoping that this week we can see around 32, uh, something like that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a swing fail pattern right here, an SFP, and then continue down. If you don't know what an SFP is, watch my market structure video. I explain what that is. I'm not going to explain it here because I'm a troll and I want you to go watch that video. So that's what I'm talking about right there. That is what we're expecting. Something like this uh, for the next coming weeks. Uh, I am hoping that this week is green. Um, let's go to the four hours so I can explain what I was talking about before. Uh, it doesn't show my daily. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is actually both, so let's do four daily. Whoops. Learn how to type. Here we go. Both of these are the, are the low. Um, so we have high confluence of this breaking, by the way. When you see that multiple levels line up like that, there's high confluence of this breaking. Right now we are in a four-hour pullback um, on my Discord server. I <clears throat> On the Discord server, I posted a short scenario like this. Uh, it really depends on what happens when we come up to this level, if we do. You know, you never really know. Uh, we may not even come up here. We could totally just turn back down here and continue this downward movement. Um, but I do think we will. Uh, I was thinking around 22, uh, maybe, would be a good spot for a short. Uh, but we got to see what happens with price action right here first. Um, get out of here. What I, I want to, I don't, if, I'm not presetting an order, a limited order here. Uh, I'm not looking to just short this no matter what when price comes here. I want to see price come up here, start to turn back down and make a new low. That's what I want to see. I want to see it break a low here from a from a little pullback um, on a lower time frame. 
So a cha cha on the fifteen minute time frame, and then I'll if I'm if I'm awake when it happens, I'll just mark it order in probably at that point, um, or depending on what kind of movement we have, I might limit order just a little bit above it. Uh, but that's what we're that's what I'm looking at right this second um, for this week. I can't I don't know until we get closer to this level um, or until we break this level what we're going to do here. Um, but I I actually think. The most likely thing that's going to happen this week is we're going to go through here uh, and then there's going to be some sort of uh, something that stops this from continuing up to, for us to come back down. I think we're going to flip four hour to bullish, but I think daily is going to stay bearish. Um, and if we do come up in this range um, and you have and you still have spot bags from up here somewhere or in this area, probably be a good time to consider selling them. I will be strongly considering selling them uh, if we flip down here. Um, this level, like I said earlier, will move down to, I think, about right here. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's like right here. It's hard to see it on the four hour. Uh, I, but it's somewhere in that general area. Uh, and then, you know, we go from there. Uh, I think that uh, that about does it. Uh, I'm, I'm bullish this week for the most part, depending on what happens here. I'm bullish for this week. Uh, but I'm bearish overall. Uh, I think that's going to continue. If you're wondering what I think the bottom is going to be, let me hop on over to the weekly chart. <clears throat> I think the bottom is going to be in this range here, uh, this 12 to 13,000 range. Let me draw a box on it because that's what, that's what everybody else does, right? Where is the box? I need to put this in my favorites. I've been using, using rec rectangles lately. I don't know if you're in magnet mode. I'm in this kind of area right here. Ish. This is, my, this is where I think the bottom is uh, going to end up being. Uh, this is a weekly imbalance here. I know it's so long ago, it's really not all that relevant, but it's a good spot for a bounce, um, a bounce back. I really don't think we're going to go and test this monthly low. It could happen, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Uh, what I think is we're going to have a choppy movement. We're gonna, then we're going to sit down here for a minute, and then we're going to work our way back up. Uh, but that's a little more macro. That's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is a weekly analysis, and I've already done it, so that ends it. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and as always, take it easy.